JMU beats Weber State on Ethan Rack's 46 yard FG on FCS quarterfinals final play. Harrisonburg threw a dozen games and a dozen wins, James Madison suppressed opponents with one of the FCS best defenses. Madison's offense did enough. Not a great deal in some of those victories. On Friday night in the FCS quarterfinals, the top seeded Dukes got into a shootout, by their standards, and won 31 28 on a career long 46 yard field goal by Ethan Ratt, at a high, on the game's final snap. Ratt kicked three field goals. We practice set every Thursday. We do like a two minute drill. I wasn't really thinking anything. I just trusted my holder and snapper and the line to basically do most of the work for me, said Ratk, a redshirt freshman who stepped in for starter Tyler Gray, hip injury, on October. 21. I just knew I was going to hit it as hard as I could, and just remember everything I've worked for to get here. In the semi-finals, JMU, 13-0, hosts the winner of Saturday's quarterfinal involving Camember New Hampshire, 9-4, and fifth-seeded South Dakota State, 10-2. UNH lost 21-0 at JMU on October 28. Before 13,497 at Bridgeforth Stadium on a cold evening, although one without the snow that covered other parts of Virginia, the defending national champion Dukes tied at 28-28 with 2.08 left on a 40-yard touchdown pass from Brian Short to Riley Stapleton and a two-point conversion. After forcing a punt, JMU took over at its 31 with 1.06 left. I just looked at the guys and said, all right, well, here's our shot. Let's go win this thing, said Shore, who passed for 359 yards. The Dukes used eight plays to get in position for Ratk's game winner. They showed the heart of a champion tonight, Weber State coach Jay Hill said. You've got to give their fence a ton of credit. Madison, a winner of 25 consecutive games, was allowing 8. 8 points per game. We just try to stick to the same script that we've been following all season, JMU linebacker Brandon Hereford said before the game. But this was different. Dropped passes, penalties, passer protection issues, a 36-yard field goal attempt that was blocked and the failure to convert a fourth and one at Weber State's 23 in the first half fouled up the Duke's operation. Madison allowed more than 14 points for the first time this season. The form of this victory shows that we do have great defense, a great defense and great special teams, said JMU cornerback Rashad Robinson, Hermitage High. It, also, shows that we have the will to win. Marcus Marshall ran for 128 yards, and Stapleton, usually JMU's third receiving option, made eight catches for 189 yards. Those kids will never forget that game, said JMU coach Mike Houston. I'll always remember the way you won that game because it's so dramatic there at the end. Those are things lifelong memories are made of. These kids will talk about this 20 years from now when they come back for a reunion. When JMU didn't generate big plays, Weber State, 11-3, regularly stiffened, or responded. The Dukes layered Marshall's 20-yard touchdown run over a 29-yard pickup by Terrence Alls on a shovel pass to lead 17-14 with 12.05 left. The Wildcats required four plays and 2-0-4 to retake the lead, 21-17. Radk's second field goal, this from 40 yards,
cut Weber State's lead to 21-20 with 7.52 left. JMU led 10-7 at halftime, having outgained the Wildcats 284-40. 5 Madison defensive back Siege had an interception in last Saturday's 26-7, second round win over Stony Brook. The Dukes coverage again was strong. Weber State's Stefan Cantwell completed 12 of 30. JMU's first pass was intercepted and returned 40 yards by cornerback Zequil Harry to the Dukes' four. Harry stepped into the path of Shore's short pass to the left. The ball hit him in the chest. Weber led 7-0-2-14 into the quarterfinal. They always believe that they're going to win, Houston said of the Dukes. And so they don't panic and they never doubt. Note, former JMU coach Mickey Matthews, who led the Dukes to the 2004 FCS Championship, this week retired from coaching after two years as Coastal Carolina's defensive coordinator. Matthews, 64, coached at Madison from 1999-2013 and was dismissed with a 109-71 record. He led the Dukes to six FCS playoff appearances in 15 seasons. Shore, a three-year starter, became JMU's career-leading passer in Friday night's game. Mike Colley held the record, 6,482 yards. <laughs>